against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two hell priests remaining. The con maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. You go. 
too far this time. You cannot interfere. This is humanity's chance to repent. To give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the Khan Maker. Activating the portal now. For it was you who was meant to enforce it. I do not have the means to locate the second Hell Priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. We will need a replacement. The redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. This is an ARC broadcast. There are reports coming out of the quarantined Hellified Zone near the San Andreas Chasm. Satellite imagery show what ARC personnel believe to be the legendary Doom Slayer himself fighting the mortally challenged. The Doomslayer, or Doom Guy, as he is sometimes referred to, was thought to be a myth of the Resistance, a sort of avenging angel. He was last reported to be seen on Mars, and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Argent Tower there. He disappeared soon afterwards. The UAC continues to deny all reports of his existence. We will continue to broadcast new information as we receive it. transgressions against the Covenant, they are still of sentinel blood. What you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine. It is written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, you will bring down the Heaven's wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. This sentinel battery can be used to provide additional power to your ship. Several modules remain unused. Finding more batteries will enable you to utilize the full functions of your command station. There is a sentinel power core nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and clear a path forward.
saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. And now you seek to defy the Con Maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance, just as it was mine. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. You can now find the remaining Hell Priests by activating your Celestial Locator. The second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Sentinel energy levels rising. Re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. The ice bomb modification to your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, the bomb will douse nearby enemies in freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. This is an ARC broadcast. To any ARC personnel or survivors operating inside the Hellified Zones, please be advised. More Doomslayer sightings have been coming in. ARC leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly. Please avoid all contact with Doomguy at this time. While it is clear that the Slayer is an enemy of the challenge, it is unclear if he could also be a threat to civilians. Is somewhere in this facility. I cannot confirm the exact location at this time. Welcome, Slayer. Is my time at an end? Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed city. Your salvation lies in his destruction. The myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the resolve to continue. Eat his soul. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. Your super shotgun is nearby. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. successful. You are now in control of the Revenant drone. You may use it to reclaim your property. Was it not the Slayer 
who brought the demons to us. The Con Maker has you to thank for the gift of Argent Energy. It is you who are responsible for your people's suffering. Appreciate the sentry I chose. The great Agadon hunters from the Telos realm, though long thought to be extinct, created to hunt only the Slayer and his night sentinels during the Unholy Crusade. Some improvements on their design have been made. Enjoy what is undoubtedly my finest work. Our system is being corrupted. This game has come far enough. I will have her transmission removed in a moment. Despite the loss of the priests, Earth will fall and my people will survive. I will answer the humans' prayers, reward those that believe. This hub was of Maker design. She knows the systems well. The final priest will be moved to a more discreet location, so our work can continue without further disruption. The third Hell Priest signal is no longer visible to us. There is a 41.3% increase of demonic activity at the nexus of the initial invasion. That is the largest gore nest on Earth. I will set the portal coordinates for the super gore nest now. Please remain calm. You may notice a slight change in the environment. Fear not. It's all part of the plan. The Super Gornest location is nearby. This is the site where the invasion began. The oldest and most corrupted location on the planet. The Ark fought hard, but they were eventually driven out by the demons. The generator is in a dormant state. Two nearby control terminals will need to be manually activated to restore full power. Unlocking the left terminal room now. Fifty percent of power has been restored. The second control terminal still requires activation to destroy the nest. I'm unable to open the door to the second terminal at this time. We'll need to find an alternate route. The hellified barrier has opened. This air shaft will provide access to the generator's control terminal. destroy the heart.
Mark your exit portal. remains unknown. The demonic consumption of Earth will not be stopped until the last priest and his guardian are destroyed. We will require assistance in order to locate the final hell priest. I believe Dr. Hayden can help us with our search. I will calibrate the portal to the Ark's command station. This is the Resistance Network. In an unbelievable turn of events, the Supergore Nest has been destroyed. Reports from ARC personnel in the field say that they have seen a significant decrease in demonic activity across the globe. Many believe this is proof that the Doomslayer himself has in fact joined the Resistance effort and has successfully eliminated key figures within the ranks of the challenged. Operatives working inside the UAC cultist organization claim that the leader of that division, Priest Dayag Ranok, was in fact removed from his office recently by the Slayer himself. As key leadership within the Mortally Challenge continue to fall, we are seeing a decreased threat from the demons on all fronts. This has given the Resistance a key advantage in the War for Earth. The UAC continues to deny any knowledge of his existence. As surviving members of the ARC network, it is the belief of this station that these reports are in fact true. We believe the Slayer has joined us in the battle against the demons. To anyone still listening to this broadcast, know that there is hope, and he is out there. The entrance into Dr. Aiden's outpost is blocked. Two peripheral turrets identified. Calculating optimal firing path. Confirm. You could use both turrets to clear a path. I will mark them for you. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 002. Subject analysis of Doomslayer, January 24th, 2163. There is no chance that the subject is a demon. We have blood samples pulled from the Mars base event that show his blood type is AB positive. He is male with a genome that makes him very much a member of the human race. But the enhanced strength, speed, and athleticism would indicate otherwise. But we can see from the blood samples that there are foreign bodies present of unknown origin. I cannot, as a contributing member of the scientific community, agree with the assumption by some of my colleagues that he is, for lack of a better word, a god, an avenging angel, the right hand of doom here to save humanity from its sins. But I cannot ignore that the timing of his arrival, the identity of his enemies, the fire and brimstone element to this catastrophe we currently find ourselves in has it, it has definitely shaken my scientific resolve. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 005, subject analysis of Doomslayer, February 2nd, 2163. Maybe he is a god. Maybe he represents humankind's rage, their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. Can he overcome them alone? If he can't, we as a species, all species, will not survive. Destroyed. The second turret will give you the angle needed to destroy the remaining tentacle. One moment. Override successful. is now clear. You can access Dr. Hayden's outpost.
Elena Richardson, log entry 006, February 9th, 2163. The only thing they fear is him. We watched as the Horde overwhelmed the very best and most advanced machinery and weapons technology that we could muster against the opposition. It was useless. They moved too quickly. They cared not for themselves, only sought out the blood of humanity. They were willing to sacrifice their own to get to the heart of our world. We slaughtered thousands and millions more followed. But then he came. He cut through them like, like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own. He is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is doom. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 007, March 3rd, 2163. And with him lies our salvation. For as he gains in strength, so do they fall in numbers. The priests command the armies to the north and south, but he controls the fight. The inner circle of death is where he resides, hunting them at the far reaches of the earth and beyond. I am a believer now. I feel it is in doom that I have faith. The slayer is the spear that stabs at the heart of our attackers, and those that would seek to harm us should feel warned. For there is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. All hail the coming of the Destroyer. The Slayer's time is now. Dr. Hayden's office laboratory is located at the top of this facility. Attention, emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. My God, um, uh, doc Dr. Hayden was uh, convinced uh, he would come here for this eventually. Uh, can I just say that it is an honor for me personally to meet you? I. Oh! Attention, emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. We, uh, we don't know how to access his main cortex. It's all alien. We couldn't figure it out. We have to, uh, prepare for his careful extraction. We were given specific orders. His life signal is barely readable. Warning. Demonic Presence, Threat Level 5, entering Main Laboratory. Opening the portal now. of Hell's occupying force. Without the priests, the demons will not consume Earth as the Tarn Maker had planned. But there is still one priest left, and I have lost his signal. I can no longer locate him. Dr. Hayden will be able to find him. Dr. Hayden is transferring himself into your ship's mainframe. The architecture is similar to his own. This will... Final priest is hiding 
the Sentinel Prime. The Khan Maker does not want him to be easily found. The only functional slipgate to Sentinel Prime is in the core of Mars, in the lost city of Hibeth. I have marked its location for you, but getting there will take time. There is no easy way to access the core of Mars. There are no known pathways that lead there, Dr. Hayden. The BFG-10,000, designed by Dr. Samuel Hayden as part of the anti-demonic defense grid. I understand. Searching the coordinates to the BFG-10,000 now. You can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. The portal is ready. This is an ARC broadcast. ARC personnel have reported that the Slayer made his way to Dr. Hayden's tower and has retrieved his remains. We do not know why. Unnamed sources inside the organization claim that Dr. Hayden anticipated the Slayer's arrival. We can only hope that this is true, and that the Resistance can continue. The control pod contains the energy source of the BFG-10,000. I'm lowering it for you now. I'm telling you, he's on his way! I need you to... The 
Ion Catapult is designed to use only approved UAC ammunition. Override loading sequence. Fire. Three, two, one. flight path to Mars. Calculating thrust vectors. Launching in three, two, one. Approaching planetary entry phase. Prepare for turbulence. Badly wounded and wearing this. Guts. Huge guts. Kill them. Must kill them all. Hmm. He has fight in him yet. In spite of his injuries. Send him to the arena. Let him be judged like the others.
<laughs> You'll make a fine addition to the front line, stranger. The demons! They are everywhere. Must kill them all! Dress his wounds and bring him to us. I want to know more about the others he speaks of. Yes, your grace. <laughs> If Sentinel Holy Blood is spilled on these grounds, you will lose all sovereignty here. The demonic consumption of Earth has been stopped. Only a Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop a Titan. You must get to the Sentinel City of Taras Nabad to retrieve your Crucible before it is too late. Without it, the Titan cannot be stopped. Setting the portal to Taras Nabad. This is the Resistance Network. Broadcasting live from inside the Arctic safe zone. There was a Slayer sighting on Phobos. Eyewitness reports say that he was spotted inside a command center and then proceeded to fight his way through the mortally challenged and onto the deck of the BFG 10K. This can't be confirmed, but many believe it was the Slayer himself who destroyed Mars in an attempt to stop the challenged from further advancing their position on Earth. We will post more information as it comes in. This is an ARC broadcast. Your Crucible is still embedded in the Titan that attacked this Sentinel City. Your first battle against the demons in this world, where the legend of the Slayer began. The great city of Taras Nabal, site of the first reported demon attack in Argentinua. According to the Korax Tower, the city would have been lost had it not been for the arrival of the Slayer. All your strength, all that rage, and you couldn't save this world from itself. 
But this time, Earth will be different. It is written that your hatred for the demons gave the people of Argent a newer home, as it does now on Earth. myself from the ship's systems. Processing. Total transfer to external drive complete. Vega is no longer connected to your ship. I will reconfigure the portal to Necroball for you. Do you require anything else before we begin our journey to Erdak? You will not be able to return until the mission is complete. Up ahead is Kalamas, 
the sightless judge. It determines who is fit to begin the soul extraction process. The rest will be discarded to the blood swamps. The shield is lowered. Now, while it's exposed, Stop the procession. We will not be able to control it! No!
System acquired. Setting a course for the Earth dimension now. I can see now. Am I the father of the neighbor? You must get the other teleporter rings aligned before it's too late. The gate must be reactivated. The longer the icon of sin is on Earth, the stronger he will become. The god maker needs Earth to be consumed by the demons, or her world will die. By awakening the icon of sin inside of her, the seal has been broken. Now the demons may pass through the void as never before. You have brought her people at this lonely place eternal damnation. But it was arrogant to bring the dormant icon here. Her hubris has shattered paradise. With the rings fully aligned, the dimensional gate to Earth is now open. Get to the landing platform and pass through the portal. Earth does not have much time left. The God Maker is near. She cannot let you leave this place alive. She is invulnerable when she has the orb within her chest. Once removed, her defenses will be down. For millennia, we have survived. Made other sacrifice in the name of our prosperity. So that they may in turn find redemption. Who are you? A human. Once a mortal to defile our tradition. You have destroyed all 
and you will be their savior. Your strength will be their shield, and your will their sword. You remain unbroken, for your fight is eternal.